break a Whitestown teenager is using art to help with sensory issues he experiences through a disease he's lived with his whole life. To call it a rare diagnosis understates it. His family says it's the only known case to date. News 8's Katie Wisely is here with his story. And he's taking to social media to share it with everybody. Well, yeah, that's right. Good morning. Yeah, so he's creating videos to help others with sensory issues. Now, determination is a powerful thing, and it's one quality Isaac Stark has, in spite of having to relearn skills that some of us take for granted. From working with specialists to online school, no matter what challenges thrown his way, you'll never see him without a smile. Yeah, big old mess. Welcome to Isaac Stark's art studio. I'm just kind of cleaning the tiles with alcohol. Where there's just enough supplies. I'm just kind of putting the paint in this cup so it's easy to stow when we mix it with glue. Today's project, a dirty pour. We mix the glue and the paint so then it's a nice like cleaning consistency. His health has improved, but it's been quite the journey. It's always concerning when you see something happening with your child that you know is not a typical behavior or action of a child. Isaac's mom, Trish, says challenges began at a young age. Her son wasn't able to hold a bottle and didn't start crawling until he was two. Now, as Isaac gets older and growing quickly, physical endurance issues are heightened. He can't walk more than about three minutes. His legs start to shake and they, they just kind of give out. The chromosomal abnormality causes Isaac to lose skills. He's had to relearn how to walk and read several times. His condition also puts him on the autism spectrum with severe sensory issues and makes him immunocompromised, which has made being in a classroom difficult. That's why his mother is thanking Indiana Digital Learning School. His overall health is good, but it's because we're doing the homeschooling and he's being taught online. Art is something this teenager has learned to love. It helps with triggers to his sense of touch. Luckily, it hasn't happened in a long, long time. He creates videos to help others. I had sensory issues before, and I loved doing out, so we just figured what if other people had sensory issues too. Like, I'm totally fine with it now. The feedback has been overwhelming. It just feels good to help people knowing that they had to go through the same thing I did once. They're a team. Hello. Hello. Mother and son. How to take a bottle like this and turn it into that. <laughs> Working together to spread awareness. Now, Isaac sells his art and saves the money to buy more supplies to then create more videos to help others. We have a link to his YouTube page and business on our website right now at wishtv.com. Katie Wisely, wishtv, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Remarkable young man. Katie, thanks for sharing his story.